by Bet365. And here's Blake Murphy. Yesterday we talked to Justin Morneau about Joan Duran and talking about the impressive uh, stats, the impressive numbers way up there on the velocity and that we're going to hear a lot about this guy. But are we ready to attach the term unicorn? Stack cast unicorn for sure. This is a guy who throws that fastball about 40% of the time. It comes in at an average of 101.7. Last weekend, I almost fell out of my chair when Nate Pearson threw 100.8. This guy averages 101.7, nearly flirted with 105 the other day, comes in at 103 with some regularity. So maybe you're thinking, well, don't swing at the fastball then. Also has a 100-mile-an-hour splitter and an 88-mile-an-hour curveball that oh by the way that curveball has the highest swing and miss rate of any of his pitches uh, so you can sit spin if you want you're not going to have a great time against it and if you guess wrong you are not going to be able to catch up to that fastball 104.6 sounds like the uh, radio dial for contemporary uh, favorites how about Pablo Lopez always amazed at the evolution of a pitcher it's never done never mm -hmm. and, and this is a guy who was so well established that he's a uh, Someone that Jays fans and lots of fan bases thirsted after, trade deadline after trade deadline. He gets dealt to Minnesota. Minnesota sits him down and says, hey, we don't like your cutter that much. It looks a little bit too much like your fastball. What if we tweak it and try to turn that into a sweeper? Pablo Lopez, so effective, so good at, at his craft, that that sweeper's now one of his best pitches. It has more movement in one direction than his curveball. It has more movement in the other direction than his changeup. It's been so effective that not only has it supplanted the cutter, he just doesn't throw the cutter anymore, but he used to be one of the righties who would throw his changeup to right-handed hitters a lot. He's gone away from that. The sweeper is now the pitch he throws the most against right-handed pitchers, more than the changeup, more than even the fastball, Brad. Just in time for a couple of guys he's going to see today. Yeah, absolutely. You, you don't want to throw righty-righty changeups to Bo Bichette or Matt Chapman, really. Um, Alejandro Kirk as well hit, hits really well against him. He's, of course, not in the lineup today. But Bichette and Chapman have done a ton of damage facing righty changeups over the last two years. Now, against those slider and sweepery slider types, Bo Bichette can do some long damage on it. He hit his 12th home run of the last couple years off a of slider yesterday. But both Bichette and Chapman have struggled with those more sweepier breaking balls like the one Lopez has introduced. That is Blake Murphy and the big board presented by Bet365. Check out the app for the latest odds. And now check out the Twins lineup for the second game of the series. Joey Gallo, who pinch hit yesterday, returns to the starting lineup. No Carlos Correa for this one. He turned that nifty double play early, but has been dealing with foot and heel injuries. So, He's going to get some time off of his feet. Kyle Farmer subs in at shortstop and will bat eight. The starting lineup brought to you by Bet365. When we come back, he was once the Blue Jays' top prospect, failed by injuries, but now excelling in a new role. We hear from and discuss the man who lights up the radar gun for the Blue Jays, Nate Pearson, next on Blue Jays Center.